Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to week two of OMAD, September OMAD, one meal a day. I am showing you what I am eating every single night. This uh, video is a little late because like I mentioned, my daughter spilled water on my MacBook and I had to buy a new one. So anyway, uh, playing catch up right now. Uh, so this is week two and hopefully week three will be up on Monday. So we are catching up. We are going. So let's get into the video now. Week two, day eight through 14 of what I ate. All right, guys, before we get into the video, if you are new to my channel, welcome. I'm the incredible shrinking Steffi. I would love for you to subscribe to my channel, be a part of my journey, allow me to be a part of yours. This channel is my journey to lose a total of 200 pounds from my highest weight of 374 to be able to conquer my food addiction, to be able to figure this brain out. I have lived as an obese person my entire life. So just replacing those bad habits with good healthy habits and stopping the self-destructive behavior, really tackling the mental part of this journey. That is what my channel is all about. So if that interests you, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, I have a support group on Facebook, The Shrinkables. Come join us over there. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All of that is down below. All right, guys, let's just get into the video. Week two of OMAD. Let's go. All right, guys, so it is day eight of September OMAD, and I'm super excited about dinner tonight. I am making keto sheet pan pizza. It just looks really super good, and so we're gonna make that. And yeah, I'm starting to get hungry. It's five o'clock now, but after I make the crust, which is very interesting, by the way, um, I need to refrigerate that for 30 minutes. So let's go ahead, look at the ingredients we need to make pizza. All right, so for the dough, it calls for a half a pound of sweet Italian sausage. So we'll use half of that. Two tablespoons of cream cheese, one cup of almond flour, and a quarter of a cup of coconut flour, but I am actually just gonna do all almond flour. I'm not big on coconut flour. One and a half cups of shredded mozzarella cheese, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese and two large eggs. And for the toppings, it actually calls for uh, some an onion, bell pepper, baby spinach, and garlic, but I'm just gonna do my favorite pepperoni. <laughs> so a half a cup of pizza sauce. This is a dirty keto food, so I definitely recommend getting something like Rayo's so you don't have that added sugar in it. A half a cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I just have mild cheddar cheese and two more cups of the mozzarella cheese. So let's go ahead and make the crust which is made with sausage i've never tried anything like this so it's gonna be interesting i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way i guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. as you fade away, yeah, 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 I'm about to fade away. Cause every time I wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same I don't really wanna hurt you, but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side, maybe we could be okay Okay, okay, maybe you could be the change I need today, I promise that I've never felt this way I really hope that you
Sorry guys, don't mind the look. Just hop in the shower while my pizza was cooking and we're about to try this pizza. The crust is just very interesting to me. Holy moly, that's hot. It's fine. <laughs> Let's pause. Yeah. Okay, let it cool down a little bit. Mmm, <laughs> still hot. Mmm. That's interesting. It's good. Yum. That is really good. Mm. Yum. I would definitely make that again. That is really good. Mm. I'm just going to fill me up too. Oh, so good. I'll see you guys tomorrow. For uh, dinner tonight, I am having a chicken bacon ranch salad. So I went ahead and cooked up some pieces of bacon earlier and cooked up uh, some of my chicken the way that I like it. I cook it in olive oil and I season it with salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and I added some cayenne pepper to make it spicy. And then I made up a salad. So I have uh, romaine lettuce. I have my chopped up bacon. I have a couple slices of cucumber chopped up some mild cheddar cheese, some sunflower seeds, and the chicken. So that is what I am having tonight. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, eat that. Oh, and my dressing. I am doing uh, Ken's Buttermilk Ranch dressing. I love this dressing. It's only one carb per serving, which is two tablespoons, and it's so yummy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that on, and we're gonna eat our salad. So I will see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so tonight we kept it super simple. Chris grilled some sirloin steak, seasons it with salt. I had some A1 sauce with it as well. And I made a side salad with romaine lettuce, uh, cheddar cheese, sunflower seeds, a few pieces of cucumber. And for the dressing, I used uh, Ken's Simply Vinaigrette Italian. And this one has only one carb per serving, which is two tablespoons, and it's just got so much flavor. It's one of my absolute favorites. So that is what I had for day number Number 10, steak and salad. All right guys, so it is day 11 of September OMAD and tonight I'm really super excited about dinner tonight because I am making tuna melt poppers. This is a recipe that I've been wanting to try. It just sounds really super yummy. Uh, something that I'm just making for myself. Uh, Chris is actually making tacos for him and the kids. So it is 6.07 now and I'm getting everything ready to make them. So let's go ahead and look at the ingredients. All right guys, so uh, because it's just me that I'm cooking for, I'm going to half this recipe. Recipe. So it calls for uh, 12 mini bell peppers. So I'm gonna do six. 12 ounces of tuna. So I'm just doing one can. We're gonna half that to one tablespoon of mayonnaise, uh, one and a half tablespoons of Dijon mustard, a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, and it says desired amount of cheddar cheese. I personally like mozzarella cheese with tuna. So I'm just gonna be using uh, shredded mozzarella cheese and we're just gonna sprinkle that on. So let's go ahead and make it.
So we got the wrong peppers. We got the smaller ones. So if you're gonna make this, make sure you get the longer peppers, but it's still gonna work. We're still gonna stuff it and it's gonna be good. It's gonna taste the same. It's in the oven now. All right guys, so I think <laughs> using the longer peppers would definitely be better. This is the first time I'm trying it, so we're experimenting, right? So let's go ahead. It's not as firm as I thought it was gonna be or as the pictures made it look, um, but let's go ahead and try one. They're still hot. Okay. Mmm, but they're good. Mmm, that's tasty. Really good, really hot. Mmm! Alright guys, we are on day 12, and for my coffee today, I did ice cream sandwich, which is uh, my favorite. I had it as my normal iced coffee this morning with unsweetened almond milk and a splash of heavy cream, uh, but I did something a little different for my afternoon iced coffee, so take a look. Alright guys, making my afternoon iced coffee, and I uh, put this in the fridge this morning. I'm doing the ice cream sandwich by Sunday Coffee, my favorite, uh, so it's already nice and cold. And I am going to be adding uh, Premier Protein into my coffee. Have a uh, protein coffee this afternoon. This has 30 grams of protein. So I'm gonna add that. Shake, 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 and a shake, 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 and a shake, 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 shake. All right, and then I add um, a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. And then a splash of heavy whipping cream. And then that's my coffee. I'm gonna add some ice to it and it is so freaking good. All right guys, for dinner I am making something new, looks super yummy. It is a keto Mexican chicken casserole. <sighs> I'm hungry, it is 5.20 now, so I'm just getting everything uh, started. So let's go ahead and look at the ingredients. All right, so the recipe calls for four cups of chopped cooked chicken breast, and I am in the process of cooking that now. I'm boiling it uh, with bouillon cubes to give it some flavor. Also two cups of cauliflower rice, we're gonna use two cups of that four ounces of cream cheese, one cup of salsa, and I have two uh, opened cans here, so we'll just do, we'll just mix them together. Um, these have two carbs per serving, which is two tablespoons, so it's, it's higher in carbs. Uh, if there's a lower carb one, then you wanna use that one. These are the ones that we had on hand, so that's what I'm gonna go ahead and use. Eight ounces of shredded cheese. You can do uh, Mexican or cheddar, and I have mild cheddar here. One teaspoon of chili powder, and a half a teaspoon of cumin. So I'm gonna wait for the chicken to finish boiling and then we're gonna cut that up. I'm gonna cook the cauliflower rice and then we're gonna put everything together. Oh, and the recipe uh, doesn't call for sour cream. I did have that out because I'm going to add that on top because yeah, yummy. All right.
right, guys, so I just finished dinner and it was really good, a lot of flavor. Uh, Chris made fajitas, he used the wraps to make a couple fajitas for himself. I just ate the regular casserole out of the bowl and it was really good and it was really, really filling. But I did pick some things as I was cooking it. I ate some of the chicken as I was chopping it up because, oh man, hungry, hungry, hungry at night. But dinner was really good. I would definitely make it again. And yeah, that's it for today. All right, guys, so day 13, still going strong, feeling really good, um, just handling it the way that I did in July, not feeling super hungry, and I had uh, my ice cream sandwich coffee this morning for my iced coffee, and then I also had another one of my protein coffees with the ice cream sandwich and then the Premier Protein Chocolate Shake, uh, and that was around 4.30 I had that, and I got hungry around 5.30 and broke my food fast uh, with one small uh, Roma tomato with pink salt. Mm. Seriously, one of my favorite snacks. Tomatoes with salt, cucumbers with salt. I think I'm addicted to salt. I seriously am. I know I'm addicted to salt. <laughs> so anyway, for dinner, super simple and boring. I had leftovers tonight. So I had the leftover of the casserole that I made last night. And about halfway through, I realized that I was forgetting something. I'm like, why doesn't this taste the same? I forgot the sour cream. So I did end up uh, putting a small spoonful of sour cream on that. And now I am stuffed. It is very filling, that casserole is very filling and it's definitely much better with sour cream so heads up on that if you want to make it all right guys i'll see you tomorrow for the final day of week two That is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and join my support group on Facebook. I will see you guys at the next video, hopefully week three of September OMAD on Monday. All right, stay safe and choose south. Bye, guys. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never ran to the no man, I still go, go.